Hey. We think about flowers. We could think about cake. We could think about wonderful promises we have the power to make. There's an awful lot of awful things we could mm. be thinking of. Yo. Just one day, let's only think about. Flowers. Yo, man, come on. Oh man. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh no! I guess seeing everyone together has got me really choked up. No, I don't think so. Oh no! You don't think Oh no! Blue Diamond. She's here? And she's not alone. Oh dude, no. No! no. Oh good. No! no. no. to work the old universe charm no yeah, all right no. i'll just be in here man get the freaking heck back in this quartz so you escaped homeworld and crawled back here uh -uh. this is pink's world how dare you use it as your hiding place come answer for what you've done oh dude this is bad this is bad this is bad <laughs> come on you rocks let's put her in a bubble You're right, right. Wait! Yo! There's no reason to fight! Let me talk to her. Blue Diamond, please listen Yo. to me! I didn't shatter Pink Diamond! They're debating! Pink Diamond's right here! It's pretty interesting when you think about it. There you go! Yo! Uh-uh! Yo, Alexandrite versus Blue Diamond! Uh-uh! Let's go! You cannot fathom how much I've mourned. What thousands of years of grief has done to me! Dude! What? <coughs> Dang. What's going on? You guys? <laughs> yo, yo, Connie coming through. What the heck? Lion Connie tag team combo. Dude, what the freaking heck? Yo, she's about to charge in. Oh, heck no. What? Yo. I know this sword. This is the sword. Shattered her! Uh, oh! No! No! Oh no! You deserve this, all of you. Stop! Please, Steven. No! What? Ah! 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 Listen, she just wants to fight. Blue Diamond. What? Who are you supposed to be? I am the will of two gems to care for each other, to protect each other from any threat, Yo! No matter how Strong or stronger how than you. you! Couldn't stop me 5,750 years ago, and you can't stop me now. What? It's you, that ruby and sapphire that disrupted my court. Ah! This is supposed to be my day! You yep. have to defeat me by what? 
to my feet. Uh oh. I just needed to what? keep you from taking three steps to the right. What? Why? Huh? Yo! Lap is coming through! What? What? Yo! She's waiting in the board on the Oh! Oh, that's some Kone Kids next door type crap from the movie! Oh! Don't do this! Listen to me! I'm the one you're missing! I'm Pink Diamond! You Oh! <laughs> what? Oh no, wait, no! Wait, 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 pause it. Pa oh, oh no! Oh! <laughs> I forget to look like a Listen to me. I need you to know who I am. They're his aunts. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's nuts. It's Aura. <coughs> Whoa. It's you. Pink. Oh, Pink. You've been here all along. <coughs> I don't have any Pink or Roses memories. What? Uh-uh! No! No, 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 Please stop. No, 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 we don't go from that to this. Please. <laughs> God take the wheel. Just oh my gosh. Where do I begin with this? I just this is hands down. Hands down. Down the greatest Steven Universe episode, period. Hands down, period. It doesn't even come close to any other episode. I don't care at all what anyone says. This episode was phenomenal, and oh my gosh, and I had to wait so long because I couldn't see the episode when it came out because I was at work, so I had to rush back home to see it, and just oh my gosh. This whole episode is half an hour. It's cut into two episodes, so the first episode and the second episode. Each episode, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I don't care. 10 out of 10. It was so well done. So well made. Rebecca Sugar, you are freaking phenomenal. You are one of the best storytellers to ever come into Cartoon to ever come into tar Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. I uh, do. I'm rambling. I don't give a crap. You are one of the best content creators to ever come into content. Uh, ever come into Cartoon Network, man. I just cannot take it. It's so, you're so well good. You're so good. See, I'm rambling. I'm rambling because of how good the episode was. You are so good at your job, Sugar. Rebecca Sugar. You're so good at your, at your job. Oh my gosh. Like, dude, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Okay, so in the beginning of the first episode, you see Steven singing and you think, okay, is this whole thing going to be like a musical type episode? No, it's not. It's only for that one song. And in the beginning of the song, it's really about him just explaining about how through everything they've been through, at the very least, for one day today, they can celebrate love. And that's all this episode was. It was about celebrating love through all the pain and suffering that they've all went through. And this love is about Ruby and Sapphire. They're having their wedding today. And it was really cute. It was fun. It was nice. You see everyone there. And everyone's having a good time. And yo. Can we talk about Paradise? Like what the freaking heck? Paradise wearing that skirt. It was so cute. And I was like oh dude. Like what? Yo. Yo. And Connie was looking great too. Everyone was looking great. It was so much fun. And you see all of the towny people. All of the towns people down there. From Lars the Mailman. Uh, or, or I mean not Lars the Mailman. Uh, the Mayor. You see Onion. Sour Cream. You see everyone there. You see Ronaldo. Even though people freaking hate Ronaldo. You see everyone there. It was so nice. And you see Ruby and Sapphire are having their wedding and you see Ruby in the dress and you see Sapphire in the kind of like the tux and it was so nice and you basically you hear them kind of like say their vows and kind of like how basically through everything they've been through they're so happy that they have each other and that they don't care what anyone says they're still going to be together and yeah it's the metaphor for you know I won't say it here but yeah you know what metaphor it's for and that was cute it was nice and you see them kiss and you see them reform back into Garnet and I was like yo Garnet is back that's 
that's awesome because I freaking missed Garnet so much. She's finally back and in the after party. You see everyone dancing and it was so funny because you see Lars the mailman. Or I mean, oh, dang, why do I keep saying Lars? It's not Lars. You see Jeremy the mailman and you see the former mayor and they're looking down because Jeremy is looking at Garnet because you know he had a crush on her. And the, uh, the, former, mayor, or the former mayor is looking at uh, Nanaqua because she's the new mayor and they're both down and in the end they decide to dance together and that was really really funny and everyone's having a great time you see steven kind of crying and you see garnet oh by the way garnet was dancing by herself but it was funny because like she was like kind of like dancing because like <laughs> she's with ruby and sapphire so it was like really funny and nice like that but you see steven crying and garnet's like ah oh, it's okay to cry you know weddings you know weddings are happy and steven's like yeah but then he realizes Oh, wait, no. He's not crying because of the wedding. He is crying because he knows Blue and Yellow Diamond are here. They're here to mess everyone up. And it was so crazy. And that's where the episode ends. And I'm like, no. Oh, my gosh. And that's, I, I, dude, I'm just like, what the freaking heck? What's going on? I'm so confused. And that's where that episode ends. I'm just like, no. Now, thankfully, you know, I was watching it as a recording. So I was able to go to the next one. But overall, in that first episode, so, so good. The whole episode was about throughout everything they've been through throughout all the hardships the pain and the suffering and the stuff that they're still going through now especially because of the pink diamond reveal and how they find out that rose is pink diamond at the very least they know that today they can celebrate love and forget everything else at the very least for this one day because that's what this day was about and yeah it was so well done and i love the song the song in the beginning was basically a recap of kind of like everything of how they kind of like learned about everything and all the hardships that they went through but at the end of the day they can still celebrate love and love and the song was so good it was so good it was kind of like, kind of like a poem kind of in the song itself and it was so well done and i freaking love it and overall the episode was so good it was really a musical type episode because in the next episode it's not about music it's not about singing it's about the action but overall in the first episode that was a 10 out of 10 freaking loved it it was so good but honestly the next episode it is where it gets crazy because you see the diamonds coming in there and you see him come to the planet and you're like what the freaking heck because they're here with the freaking giant blue and yellow hands and you're like oh my gosh they're here they're here because they know steven is here and it's like oh, dude what's going on but then you realize no they're not here for steven they're here for the cluster because they dig that hand smack down into the earth on some Thanos type crap. And it's like, dude, what the freaking heck? So Steven is like, oh my gosh, we have to warn the cluster. We have to go to it because Steven has the ability to talk to the cluster in his dreams, as you see back when they first tried to stop the cluster themselves. So he goes into the dream and he's like, yo, you, hey, you have to wake up. Uh, Blue and Yellow Diamond are here. They're here for you. But by the time he tells them, it's too late because they got the cluster. Except by the time they get the cluster, the cluster forms into a freaking giant colossal titan attack on titan looking hand. And it's like, oh my gosh, whoa, it's finally emerged. Is it going to like attack us? But no, you see the giant cluster hand gives a thumbs up to show that it's on their side. It's on the squad side. And it's like, yo, but the thing I do want to say is, I don't think the cluster was fully formed. I feel like it only formed the hand because if it fully formed, like Peridot said, it would have destroyed the earth. It would have been bigger than the earth itself. So I don't believe that's the cluster fully emerged. It's just that one hand and it emerged just the hands just so it can fight blue and yellow diamond because it brought their giant hands with them. Kind of like how Peridot did back when she first came to earth. So you see the giant cluster hand fight yellow diamonds big ginormous yellow hand and they're going in on each other like for in like a freaking arm wrestle and it's like yo but blue diamond she's not helping yellow diamond because she knows she knows that steven is here but from her pov she thinks that it's pink diamond so she's there and she is ready to take them out but you see everyone come together bismuth amethyst uh pearl and, oh dude they're all there and garnet too they're all fighting and connie too connie is going in fighting they're all trying to stop her but every time they try to stop her she keeps blasting that sadness wave that makes them all cry and it's like 
dude what what like yo but you see connie because she's not affected like it's only affecting gems so connie she's like whoa what's going on so she's like okay i have to stop this myself so she jumps online in a tag team combo they charge a freaking yellow or I mean not yellow blue diamond and like you see connie jump try to attack blue diamond but blue diamond stops her she blue diamond grabs connie's sword you know pink diamond sword or you know Rose's sword. She grabs the sword, breaks it, and it's like, oh my freaking gosh, it's crazy! Because they're finally here, and they're finally not, you know, they're not like doing the video call like before with Paradise, they're not like kind of talking from the sidelines from some, you know, telecommunications device. They're actually here on the planet, and it's so crazy because, like, everything has been building up to this. So you keep seeing them over and over again, and this time they're like, okay, you know what, enough's enough. We're finally gonna come down to the planet to, to finally end this. To finally end what Pink Diamond started all of those thousands of years ago. And it's so crazy. It's so crazy, but it's so well done. It's so well done. The fight scenes were so well done. And when you think, oh my gosh, she beat all of them with the giant sadness blast wave and these weird energy beams she, she can make with her hands, it, it was so crazy. You think, oh my gosh, how is she gonna, uh, how are they gonna stop her? But then Garnet comes up and she's like, Oh, I'm gonna take you out, yeah! And she's not doing anything just because, you know, Blue Diamond is, uh, you know, is huge. And Blue Diamond is like, do you really think that's gonna stop me? And Garnet, oh my gosh, Garnet, dude, oh my gosh. Garnet is like, no, I'm not trying to stop you. I was just trying to stall you for three seconds until this barn crashes on you. And you see the freaking barn! Lapis comes back! She launches the barn itself on top of Blue Diamond, crushing her. And it's like, yo, what the freaking heck? The squad is back together. You, dude, Lapis is back, and it's like, oh my gosh. So basically, uh, from what we can tell, she got over her anxiety attacks. She's like, you know what? I'm either gonna, I'm gonna ride and die with my friends. I'm gonna stand together to fight for our world and dude it's awesome and steven basically officially announces that you know she is a or no not steven lapis lapis officially announces that she is a crystal gem because she's here fighting alongside everyone now the, the one thing i do want to say about lapis is that when she's right next to bismuth i thought she was gonna freak out and be like oh my gosh it's you because if you see in that flashback that lapis you know told you see that a bismuth was the one to poof her so i thought maybe that was the bismuth we knew now i'm not sure but anyway back to yellow diamond's big hand versus the cluster big hand battle at the end of the fight the cluster hand beats the yellow diamond's ginormous yellow hand it destroys it but you see yellow diamond breaks out jumps over to where blue diamond and the others are and basically takes the barn off of blue diamond and they are both ticked off you see yellow diamond run directly towards steven and stomps down directly on him but before she can you know completely stomp on him steven creates a shield around him so it only knocks him out and dude that's where the first half of the episode ends and it's like yo what's going on but then you see Steven's new power do so it's kind of like a mixture of his dreams powers kind of where he can like talk to people in his dreams and kind of like control people's minds and bodies where it's like he's in this kind of like weird realm where like you see all of his friend all of his friends and companions but they're on top of like giant statues of themselves but every time he touches them they know that he's there and, and like they can hear him and basically he can like kind of like run through them and give them kind of like more emotional uh, you know upbrings so like he can like run through bismuth and say hey you can do it and then bismuth is like yeah i can do it and that's what it was it was kind of funny too because like he was kind of like running through people quickly saying like pearl uh, it, it, it was so funny because like he runs through pearl and pearl is saying i'm not just i'm doing this for rose i'm doing this for steven but then steven runs through pearl and he's like no you're doing this for yourself too and she's like oh yeah i'm doing this for myself too and i was kind of funny because like he was doing like super super quick and dude it was so funny and he kept kind of doing that through like everyone through bismuth uh not through lapis because lapis got poofed while he was in the dream mode but he was doing it through everyone and it was so funny and then you see yellow and blue diamond on top of their weird statues and steven is basically like i need to get to them and explain to them 
that Pink Diamond is still alive through me. I have her gem. Because Pink Diamond is his mom. So, like, he's trying to get to them. But every time they, like, feel a presence, they, like, use kind of, like, their psychic waves to kind of, like, push Steven back. But, like, Steven keeps trying to come back in. And every time he tries to touch them, they feel the presence. And they're like, why does this feel so familiar? Like, why do they feel so familiar? And while they're in this kind of... And while Steven is in kind of, like, the weird dream sequence where, like, you see all of them on top of their statues he hears yellow and blues kind of like thoughts and you see and you hear and you kind of hear like yellows and the yellow is like dang it this is all my fault i should never have left pink do this and because of me she is gone so you see that yellow feels remorse and it's like wow okay she actually does care about pink because for the longest time i thought she never cared about pink but apparently yeah she does and she felt so guilty about it and she's like from her you know from her pov it's like I have to set things right. This is my way to fix things because I messed up in the past. And you hear Blue Diamond's thoughts and basically, yeah, it's the same thing we know already where basically she feels so sad and it's like, oh my gosh, just doing this makes me feel so bad about what happened to Pink. But Steven is like, no, no, you have to listen to me. You have to listen to me because we're family. Because, yeah, it's true. Blue and Ye blue and Yellow Diamond are Steven's aunts. Really, if you think about it, they're his aunts. And he's like, no, you have to listen to me. So basically, once he finally touches Blue, you know, all the way and tells him, hey, I'm here. Blue is like, wait, what's that? And Yellow is like, uh, you're, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? But then Steven touches Yellow and, she, and he's like or no she's like oh my gosh whoa what's that and then uh basically uh steven is like hey you need to listen to me i know where pink is pink is with me but they're like enough we don't want to hear it so then they blast a wave at steven kind of like a psychic wave a psychic yeah a psychic a weird psychic wave and steven is like no you have to listen to me then he blasts a ginormous pink psychic wave all the way over to blue and yellow diamond and then they realize oh my gosh that's pink you're pink and then that's when steven wakes up he's back in the real world he's out of that weird psychic plane and the battle is over you hear no more fighting and all steven sees is everyone in front of him and blue and yellow staring at him and they're like pink and that's where the episode ends. It's, like, it's where it ends. That's where the episode ends. And it's like, what the freaking heck? What? They say pink and that's where the episode ends. And it's like, oh, dude, it's so crazy. Oh, my gosh. And it's like, what the freaking heck? What the heck? Yeah, this that's what this episode was. It was reunion. Not just reunion for blue, or I mean, not blue, for sapphire and ruby, but reunion for pink blue and yellow they're all back together and it's it's so crazy it was so freaking good and that's where the episode ends again where steven wakes up he's in front of everyone including blue and yellow diamond and they both say at the same time pink and that's where it all ends uh dude it's so crazy it's so crazy and i'm rambling i've been rambling throughout the entire episode or be see like, i'm rambling like again i'm rambling again because of how good the episode was i'm rambling throughout the entire review because of how amazing this episode was it was fantastic it was finally their reunion again not just for sapphire and ruby but for blue yellow and pink and uh, it's crazy and basically right after the episode ends you see the preview for the next one where they're all back together and yellow is, er, no, not yellow. Blue is crying like, oh my gosh, pink, you're back. But Steven has to kind of like explain, no, 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 I'm not back. I have my mom's gem. So like, he's kind of like trying to like explain to them. And then you see them all where the uh, centipedals are at because they think that they destroyed all the gems with the big blast they made back during the war. But no, but that's where the preview ends. And it's like, dude, what the freaking heck? What the heck? At the same time, right after the preview ends, they show that freaking dumb preview pro promo, whatever the heck it is, for the dumb freaking apple and like vegetable thing, and it's like, freaking what the heck? <laughs> like really? Really? You're gonna show that right after this whole big ginormous reveal? And it's like, yeah, that's it. That's really it. I mean, just overall, this episode was amazing. It was fantastic. Like, 
The last one was amazing, that was a 10 out of 10. This one is a 10 out of 10, but this is hands down. Out of the two, this is the, the, uh, the latter is hands down the best one. Hands down. I just, it left you on a cliffhanger like, oh my freaking gosh, like, you can't end it like this, like, dude, I don't, dude, oh my gosh, Rebecca Sugar and all the universe, you guys did amazing, it was fantastic, I cannot wait for the next one, dude, I don't even know where this whole series is going, I really don't know, I really, really don't know where the whole series is going now, I really have no idea. I really have no idea, because, like, they aren't enemies anymore, or as far as I can tell, they're not going to be enemies anymore, so I have no idea where this is all going to go. I really have no idea, like, I just have to wait. We all have to wait. And I'm going to say one more time, overall, both episodes were 10 out of 10s. The first one was about how through all the hatred, hardships, and just all the negativity, they can still have love. In at the very least one day and the next one was about how they need to realize that what they want is right in front of them the whole time and that's how they finally get their reunion back blue yellow and pink and it was so freaking well done I cannot praise this episode more than I already have I just what do you all think if you want leave something in the comments below and if you don't you don't have to but I really think you should Oh my gosh, I've been rambling throughout the entire video, but I don't care at all. Just amazingness. I'll catch you all in the next one. Just have a great, amazing, and awesome day. Bye.